we have we found our resident white-tailed mongoose of quarantine open areas you can see where it gets its name white-tailed mongoose look at the size of that big white fluffy tail and there he goes trotting off into the thicket i'll try see if we can keep up with him there he goes so bouncing away in typical mongoose fashion i always love how mongoose run they have this very fast trot as they bounce around but let's try get round because there is a road that it's running towards and we might be able to get a better view of it but really cool to see where did you go Senza? did you see if he crossed the road or not not yet where did you go little mongoose now this is the largest mongoose we see in this particular area we don't get any that are larger than this they are as big as they get and generally solitary sometimes you will find them in a pair together or even with their offspring so i don't know where it's run to now senzo says it didn't cross but i've lost it must have gone across the road oh there it is there it is so it's running across on the other side it's covered a lot more ground than i thought so obviously with the car starting it's then moved off and it's just gone behind that mound soon so let's try to go to the right of it Snorky Maiden, you say this is your first mongoose that you've seen. Well, white-tailed mongoose, I would imagine, because I'm sure you saw the dwarf mongoose with Byron earlier. Now it's just in the edge of the spotlight. The spotlight's light is enough to illuminate with the IR mode. You can see it slinking through the grass, that dark shape there. It's amazing how well they actually do camouflage. And you can see how it's using the shadow of the termite mound. It keeps going behind the termite mound. You see? There we go. So it's using the mound to hide from us. So if it's going to be distressed like that, then we're not going to follow it any further. We're going to leave it there. We've certainly been very lucky to at least have spotted it.